You don't want zero problems, big fella. Yep. If one more label try to stop me, it's gonna be some dreadhead niggas in your lobby. for being patient i was gonna get that i gotta get that football break done that was fun though i really enjoyed that break some nights the conversation goes in great ways and some nights it's just like dead so hard i like it more when you guys talk or give me something to talk about it was funny when we broke with three kings our sister group at national i was like it was nice to have someone there all the time so i knew that i wasn't going uh crazy in my basement is literally how it feels sometimes all right we're going to bust open these hanger boxes first. We're going to fly through this, and we're just going to pull some heat. Can we just do that? Can we just pull fire? Everyone gets it. They can dream about it when they go to bed. But I need something from you guys real quick. I'm going to hit live real quick. Anybody, I want to, I worked all day. I've been working nonstop. I really, really, really want to uh, throw a movie on. And I was excited because I looked at Netflix, had that Six Underground with Ryan Reynolds, who I really like Ryan Reynolds. Um... I was excited about it, but I looked and it got like a 6.7. Those fights are too damn expensive. I said that last break. Like, I'm like a, in the mood for like a, a black mirror or like something like kind of like, like intense. Anybody got any suggestions? I've seen a ton of stuff. But it's got to be on Netflix or Hulu or... That's not true. I'll, I'll rent a movie tonight. So I'm looking, I need some suggestions. I should throw something up on the page. Oh, it's just straight on ESPN? It is? See, if they would do that more, I'd get back into it. I stopped honestly following because when I lived in my the town I, I, came, I left when I moved here, there was a guy down the street that would get him and I could just toss him like 10 bucks. And, and he like he'd open his bar to us and everything. I'd give him like a couple extra bucks and we'd be drinking all night and he had food, we'd take food and stuff. But Oh, it's just boxing. I thought there was a isn't there a uh is it is it just boxing on the night? Is there a fight on the night too outside of boxing? See, I don't even follow any of it. I'd rather watch basketball tonight. <laughs> I don't even know if there's any on. I haven't I haven't had a chance to turn the TV on. Let me tell you about my day in a minute. We'll get through this. I literally woke up and found out I was like, I was up till three sorting, trying to get, I got everything out up to last night. The only thing that didn't go out with ship was this morning's break, basketball. Everything else is out. I was up till three though doing that. I woke up this morning. What up? In a hanger box? For real? Rick Mayhorn? Once upon a time in Hollywood. Which, which, who's in that? But tell, tell me a little bit. Going out to the Detroit Pistons. That's going to be 
Zion's daddy, Chris England. Like, and there's an Eric Gordon Silver. Something like, I don't know, serious, action-packed. Like, kind of like something like The Town. I'm going to turn the fight on now since you guys are talking about it. Something like The Town or like Black Mirror, but I don't want that. You know, I want something like that. Denzel Valentine. Green. We had the Mitchell Robinson, Eric Pascal, rookie, Grant Hill, Rudy Gay. Tim Duncan, Jackson Hayes, emergent, and a silver, Dominance Lillard. Wait, is that out already? Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Is that the one where they're like making a movie? You know what movie uh, my wife and I watched? You know, I was taking care of her. She had surgery this week. So Monday, I couldn't really do anything. I was back from the game. And I literally just, like, took care of her. Um, no, it was Tuesday. It was Tuesday. We watched um, Mystic River, directed by Clint Eastwood with Sean Penn. And, oh, shoot, who else was in it? Oh, dude, that movie was fantastic. Fantastic. One of the best movies I've ever seen. Death race? No, I haven't. Yeah, man, I don't. I don't think it's out yet. I was. I had my eye on that. Once upon a time, Dominance Irving, P.J. Washington. That was cool. We got an auto out of one of these. Jalen Noel, rookie. Justin James and Hassan Whiteside for the Trailblazers. What's up, Josh? get from my remote here I want to watch oh there's a there is a game on is that live uh oh oh there's a Kobe green 112 107 Pistons Rockets it says it's live Oh, from your blaster boxes, Chris. Tuan Moore. Akpala, there we go. Mike Scott and Bogdanovich. Yo, cool card there for the heat. Ten pounds of potatoes. Are you do I Mike? Let me ask you this. Cause when I <laughs> when I used to break, I can picture it when I when I first got into it, I would always watch breaks it while I was cooking dinner. Because my wife and I before kids used to cook every night. And I guess we had kids then when I got into it, but he was just so little. But anyhow, I used to prop it up on the, the counter and watch it. Am I on your counter right now? Million Dollar Baby. I've never watched that. Overtime, Mavs Heat, 118-121. Mavs with the ball, inbound. Oh, you got to put it up, man. You got to put it up, big fella. Oh, he missed. Ah! Oh, he had it wide open, too. Brunson. Brunson missed it. Scalloped potatoes. Mm. Are they looking to see if it was a foul? I'm on the coffee maker? That's so cool. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. All right. How's everyone doing tonight? I'm talking about everything but. Oh, they're seeing if a foul got in, but it didn't get in. Do the blasters next. To me, in, in my experience of, uh, of, is Death Race the one with Steve Austin? Stone Cold Steve Austin. All right, Oklahoma coming back a little bit. Eight down, eight points, and they're not going to get enough in. They're not even fouling. Game over for that. All these games ending right now. Nuggets beating uh, Thunder. I started Goodwill Hunting and I never finished it. It's just mostly because I would throw it on at night. What up, Scott? I 
that's weird. With that much time left, they didn't at least try to foul and do something with it. I've seen worse things happen in basketball. Glass. Oh, I wanted to watch that. Now, that's the follow-up to... What was the one before that? With um, That's Samuel L. Jackson and Nicholas... Is it Nicholas Cage? I forget. Markel Fultz purple for the Magic. And Okafor. Jaleel Okafor silver. Mo. And how about a Brandon Clark patch for the Memphis Grizzlies? Yeah, Unbreakable. I haven't seen... Do I... Here's the thing, though. I haven't seen Unbreakable in probably since it came out, like the year it came out. Do I need to go back and watch Unbreakable to enjoy Glass? Split. Split's good. I like that guy that's in Split. I've seen Split. He's in... Isn't he in the town, too? He always plays like that that bad cop kind of dude. Fred Van Vliet. Green. Pascal Rookie. There's a silver Alexander Walker uh, emergent insert. Kobe Green, NBA finalist. It's a cool card. Vidazzi and Tristan Thompson. Thomas Bryant. Not a bad blaster there. Maybe I'll do glass. I might do glass. My brother said it was good too. I, gotta, I better check. I think I rented it one night and fell asleep. I hate paying for a movie tw like I won't do it out of principle. <laughs> Goodwill hunting's a little bit slower than I want right now. I want something like very intense. I want my heart rate going a little bit. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Any other games closing? So he are 19 and 7, 17 and 8 for the Mavs. Hardaway with 28 points, Porzingis with 22, Brunson with 18, but missed the game win or the game tire in overtime. Harrow had 19 points. He was four for 14, six rebounds, two assists. Uh, uh, Adebayo had 18 points, 11. He had a triple double, 18, 11, and 10. Wow. Butler with 27 points, eight for 22 shooting. Olenek had 17 points on five for six shooting. I already I saw John Wick three front row the day it came out. I sat in the front row for that. Yeah, I wonder where Don. So what's how bad is Doncic hurt? That's no bueno. I think A and N just answered us. Pascal rookie. I mean, I, I didn't... Ankle injury? How bad is it? Have we, have we heard Al Horford? There he is. Triple double. Is this who had the triple double tonight, I said? Maybe not. John Wall for the Wizards going out to Zach Harden. I could go... John, the Jet Li movies, they're like, you know, like they're like Kung Fu, right? That's a little much. I don't know if I want that kind of action. I want more like... Like, what's that? Oh, the De Niro bank robbing movie that's so good. Heat. You ever see Heat? You ever see The Fan with Wesley Snipes? That's like a early 90s, late... I think it's like early 90s, probably like 91, 92. Speaking of them, too, we just pulled them, too. How about a Luca Green for the Dallas Mavs going out to Evan? Evan's watching the fight tonight with his dogs. Talk to Evan a little bit. Evan, cool dude. Really understanding the situation with the spot, so that was cool. Jackson Hayes. There's a Zion rookie. Not bad out of a blaster. What are they going with for like 2025? That'd pay for the blaster right there. Actually, no, it wouldn't because you can't find him for that. I paid. <laughs> I want to tell you what I paid for this case of blasters. Uh, it's so frustrating that you can't even go to the store. I got them off of Dave and Adams. I bought a case of blasters off of Dave and Adams. I don't know if they've dropped since I bought them. I don't think anything Prism has dropped. That's where I got my blasters. You can't get blasters from, like, distributors and stuff. They don't, like, especially with Prism. All right, here we go. I just think, I, I get it with Prism. The value is there with Prism. I get it. That's why I bought it. 
see the battle printer. I know, Matt Solomon is, <laughs> I was gonna have you Matt, but if it was just that, but you have to find a box, you have to ship them, it, it, it would have been nice, but then it's just, I feel bad, like you're out, I don't know what, you know, I don't like to assume that everyone's equipped with a credit card or cash to buy that stuff. Very nice of you though, man. They have mega boxes and everything. <laughs> it's like they get them and they're gone. I bet you go back there tomorrow and they'd be gone. Well, Matt, I'll tell you what, if you ever head back, where were you at? Were you traveling or something? Or is that your hometown Walmart? If you go back, let me know. What is Alita? Is it just like a, you said that was with. Transporter I've seen. I like the transporters. They're a little far-fetched for me. Crank is good. Crank is good. Yeah, I don't think I'm, I'm going that route, though. Let me know what you pull out of them, Matt. That's cool. What is it, Alita? You know what else is good? Um, wait, did anyone say if they've seen the fan? I don't think anyone... Expendables? I tried it. Hmm. Two Michael Porters, Ricky Rubio. There's a Bruno Fernando for the Hawks rookie. Trey Young. I've seen them both so many times. It's not. It's been a while. Oh, I heard like South Dakota like has no card market. That's funny, and they put them in there and they'll just sit. Dang. I should have had you grab them. Oh, well. Tombstone, I've never seen, I don't think. That's, is that a Western? The fan is good. So Wesley Snipes, I think, is the ball player. And De Niro is like the crazy fan. Dude, I, I haven't seen it for... Maybe I'll rent that. I don't know if it would hold up, but it's a De Niro. De Niro's the man, and Snipes is pretty solid when he was good, you know? It's a sports movie, too. I could get into that. Giannis, hype, prism, going out to the Bucks. That's going to be, that's a nice card there. I love opening prism. Like, I know, I know the, like, there's, like, a divide between the, the price and the rule. But, like, Prism's just cool, man, with bat, the way it works with basketball. It's so much different than football. And how about a Michael Porter Silver? Tombstone? I'll, to, I'll, I'll watch, like, a preview or something. I need to get a little, see if that's the mindset I want to get in. I like that you guys are helping me out, too. Carson Edwards. Al Horford Green. I just don't like to take too long. That's why I was kind of trying to get ahead of it. Darren Fox and a Green uh, Myers Leonard. Because then if I waste too much time, I'm kind of like, ah, now it's too late. Joel Embiid, Silver for the Sixers, going out to Aaron Elrod. Any given Sunday was good. Wasn't Jamie Foxx in that, though? I've never seen Full Metal Jacket. Heard lots of good stuff, but it ranks really high in the all-time movies. You know what else? If I said I never saw, every time I say it, I'm really like, you've never seen it. Wendell Carter Jr. for the Bulls is, what's like the number one rated movie on IMDb? And every time he says, I'm like, I have not seen it. Juma Okiki and Wilson Chandler Silver. Is it from that? <laughs> from that movie? American History X I've seen. That's not what I'm thinking of. Have you guys ever seen The 25th Hour with Edward Norton? That's a solid movie. I don't want to watch that because that's a little too dark for me. That's not... Full Metal Jacket's not what I'm thinking of, though. It's like another great... Derek Jones, Bagley. There's a Jackson Hayes and a Chuma Okiki Emergent. Will Barton Green. 
I started El Camino. Maybe I'll throw that on. I started it when he shows up to the door, and like I saw like the first half of the first episode. Uh, for the Pistons, Jordan Bone Silver. Maybe I'll do that. I wanted to watch El Camino. You know what? That could be exactly what I'm looking for. I can still answer messages, talk to people, and still kind of watch it. Maybe that's it. That you may have just hit it. If I can't think of a, if I can't come to a decision on a movie, that's what I'll throw on. I'll tell you what, Joker was such a fantastic movie. All right, well, that's our prism. Not not bad. We pulled an auto, a couple mems, a few good silvers, some cool stuff there. I mean, we still got two hobby boxes to go. I mean, the, the stuff is just fun. Is it is it El Camino good? All right, Breaking Bad is my favorite show ever. So it's kind of hard to believe I haven't, but I haven't had time. And I'm afraid that if I start it, I'll want to finish it, which means I'll be up till all like five in the morning. Breaking Bad and Sons of Anarchy are close. I think I like Sons of Anarchy more than I would have if I watched it alone, but I watched it with my wife and we watched it together. It was very good. Dexter was awesome until the end and Dexter just like, it was so, so dark at the end. My wife was bawling. Like I didn't feel good for like two days after it. And it kind of, it was that good. But it almost, it was so good it pissed me off how it ended. Like, I was like distraught. Like, I lost a friend. Take two meaning that, like, they just tried to stretch it. Eastbound and Down, I've watched that entire series probably three or four times. That's so funny. That's a little funnier than I want to go, though. Pascal, Cody Martin, PJ Washington. Insert sets in Donruss are so cool. Ah, what up? You have got to be kidding me. We pulled this dude so much for the Grizz. Memphis Grizzlies, Megan getting the Ja Morant rated rookie auto. There you go. It's a take two. What is? Uh, the Camino or whatever it's called. What's that called? El Camino is or is Breaking Bad is? Dude, I'll tell you this. If you've ever watched... If you have ever watched um, <laughs> Sons of Anarchy, dude, go back, watch the last episode, and then watch the first episode right after it. Your mind will be blown. My wife and I did it with my, like, Dallas Mavericks. Luca Marvel's cool. Those cards are so cool. Giannis Defying Gravity and a Lillard Crunch Time. Really? I don't know, man. I never want to go back and watch it. I, mean, I should throw that on. It's on. It's like just some ESPN. Class, like not classic, but. How do you do this? Why is there such a delay? First world problems. It says it's ESPN. Oh, it's still on. Oh, wow, he just went there. Dude looks like Ed Har or, uh, Tom Hardy. Hi, uh, Todd, are you in here? I think we hit it again. Same thing as before. Patch and men back to back. There is a James Harden. Gary Payton. Cam Reddish Marvels. What is he doing? <laughs> See, he's blowing kisses. Clyde Drexler. Yeah, they are. That's an intense show. Lonzo Ball and Tremont Waters. So far, all of them have been out of 75. Todd, you were right. So far, it's been the same. That's crazy. I, I don't remember. I, because I pull them out of the box. Is it like the front two packs? I didn't even think to check this time after you said it until I pulled them. I was like, oh, crap. They are, there they are again. Ray Donovan. I like the guy who plays that. That, like, instantly stopped, though, didn't it? Didn't they, like, just pull that off the air? I heard they're running Zion small. That's why everyone's like, Zions are all over. I'm like, dude, relax. Like, they're short running them. I, I think the autos. Like, Zion base may be a little bigger, but of course you're going to have them. But even Zion base are not that easy to pull. 
you you're seeing them because people are posting them the minute they get them. But like you have to think about how many people are opening cards and not getting them. Carson Edwards, Jalen McDaniels, Ty Jerome, Waters, Badazzi, Schofield. John Wall, Aiton, Brogdon, Okafor, Bamba, Lillard, and Deadman. Russell Westbrook, Defying Gravity. There's a Bronny Crunch Time and a LeBron James Craftsman. Cool stuff. Yes, but how many of each of those is the real question. Amen, a and n and who are you again? Amen. You No one posts your losses. It's like the same person that will go to the poker table and be like, I won 200, but or like the, the, the blackjack table. I have a buddy that always is like, I, I won 200. I'm like, yeah, well, how much did you spend? I love what, you, like, no. <laughs> you can't just talk about your wins. You have to talk about your losses. It's like, I, I heard it. Uh, a funny analogy of it the other day like kind of put a picture in your head it's like yeah you see that blaster open with the and they'll take a picture of the zon you don't see the 40 blasters behind them in the trash can that they ripped to find that one and everyone's all up in arms like zons are everywhere no they're not or they would be super duper cheap we live maybe in the 90s they're like it's the 90s again no it's not in the 90s no one knew how many there were because the internet was not out there like it is. Nobody was posting stuff. If everyone and their mother would be posting a Griffey right now, you'd be like, this is trash. I got six of them. I have two of them. I have nine of them. And uh, and we're, we're seeing them all posted online. Every Zion that is pulled is being posted online, either on eBay or Facebook or whatever. So you're seeing what's out there. And it's not as much as people say. Bradley Beal and Durant. It is cool. 22. Yeah, it is. It's neat that there are 22. It's hard. It makes it hard to collect. Like It's impossible to collect them. But for people who have that money and want to collect it, there's a Zion rated rookie. Like, could you imagine? So that's the whole thing. The 90s things like when Upper Deck reprinted those. Uh, Yusef Nurchik at a 99. There's a Luca Craftsman. James Harden. And so, like, j if we would have the internet then, like we did now, we would have all realized that, like, all this. So, there's a, I think there's a lot more accountability that goes into cards now. And I think that's why Panini, honestly, they're, they're trying to, like, do this whole sell a lot of it direct on their site. And if you look with football, at least, they're first off the line sitting there because people, the last couple products have been so team heavy with first off the line. There's been points in it. And I think people have caught on and they're like, no, I'm not spending that much money on that product. And eventually they're going to have to figure out what to do with it because it's not going to sell on their site at that price. Oh yeah, it is. Tell me he doesn't look like Tom Hardy. <laughs> Who is that guy? What's his name? Jalen Brown out of 349. Chris Middleton out of 49. I wanted to top load this one over here. DeAndre Jordan. And the Crunch Time Nikolai Jokic. Chris Paul. And an AI Allen Iverson. Essentially, every product that came out, Chris was like Donruss Jumbos or like Score. Right? Wasn't that multi-year draft at the school? I'd do one of those like every now and then. I wouldn't. We used to do them a lot more. And it got to the point where I was like, man, it's really hard to get return of value on this. So we stopped. But like a lot of us at the time, a lot of us, Tyler Harrow, were getting back in the cards and we had missed a lot of us had missed a, a long like a long range of years of cards so it was fun like you know it really was for me it was neat to get to open all that stuff and see it and then when i caught on the value and I, we kind of started to fine tune what sets were worth getting and stuff 
Oh, Adam pointed out to me, there's a Romeo Langford out of 49, that on some of these crunch time, there's a Draymond Green Marvels, some of these crunch times have like press proof above the ball. I didn't see any yet. Yeah, Stadium Club was awesome. The Brett Favre Stadium Club. You know what was a really cool set that failed? It was actually a card company. You guys remember Wild Card? Wild Card was the ones that put out the, you could get like the 50 bar, the 100 bar. Um, and, and the thing was, you were supposed, and it was at like the, the heart, the epicenter of the, the card market, like the, that whole time frame. And I guess what happened with Wild Card, this is my understanding. I haven't read about it. This is what I was told to me by another collector. But, um, you know, obviously you could, you could send it in. So if you got 100, you could send it in and get 100 of the regular base rookies. That's what it was always told. Obviously, we know now that doesn't work. <laughs> so what happened is those hundreds, those 150, like I sold a Brett Favre wild card, I think 150 on eBay before like, this is a long time ago. Like when I was like in college, I think it was, and I just went back through and to see what I had in my boxes. And I got like 120 bucks for it. I remember I was jacked. You know, that's a lot of beer money. <laughs> um, but apparently they had owed a lot of debts to people and they were trying to pay their debts with cards. And when the card market started to collapse, the, like, these collectors were like, you know, like we want our money now. And they had to go bankrupt immediately. They couldn't honor any of those redemptions and like the cards were worthless. And it was just, it was just interesting. Ben Simmons, Crunch Time James Harden, and a Lillard Marvels. Yeah, are you talking about the upper deck one, Todd? Sure, I'll, I'll read these names. Okiki, Porter, Johnson, Poole, and Culver. Darius Garland. All right, Deadman, Curry. Josh Hart out of 349. Rudy Gay. Hey, uh, how about a Zion Marvels? That's a sweet card. And an RJ Barrett, the rookies. Crunch Time Kemba. I still haven't seen a press proof one. If you didn't see these earlier, these are awesome. Points, rebounds, assists, like the calorie, like the nutritional facts, a maze team. Yeah, you, have you guys watched that special on Netflix about like the the guy who owned the biggest card shop. What's that's the name of it? I watched it actually oddly on the way home from the national. Cause they had been talking about that movie there a ton. And it's, it's like the guy starts to go to a documentary. The whole thing was supposed to be about getting his card collection. It becomes about finding out, you know, his dad and why his dad left him and stuff. Some vintage, like what vintage, what though? Baseball, football, all of it. Basketball. Yeah, they really do look like the Kellogg's boxes. I mean, obviously, it's supposed to be like, you know, cereal. Steph Curry Marvels. Blake Griffin and a Steph Curry Crunch Time. All right, that's our box. Not awful. Again, a lot of... We got two Zions out of that. The Marvel inserts are awesome. That insert set would be cool. I, I, I said this about Don Russ before in football. I don't love... I don't, I don't love that they don't number those inserts or put parallels to them. We did get the John Morant auto out of that. Not bad at all. Jack of all trades. Yeah, if you have, Corey, uh, Corey Kelly said it. If you guys haven't watched Jack of all trades, it's not long. It's maybe like an hour, hour and a half. It's just, you know, regular movie. It's worth the watch. It's almost like deflating a little bit because you think like, will that ever happen again? But it kind of is such a good warning sign that I don't think these card markets, I mean, their livelihood, Upper Deck was kind of, in a way, shunned from the market. You know, they still have hockey, but they do no baseball, they do no football, they've been able to do hockey, and they have, like, their high-end mem autos, and so, you know, they have, like, what are they, don't they, like, is it Jordan exclusive with them, or, I mean, or LeBron was, wasn't he? 
I thought I thought that LeBron was supposed to be signing with Panini. Whatever happened to that? Jimmy Butler out of one ninety nine. Listen, I'm in my late thirties, and I don't. How old are you, Anan? I'm in my late. I'm thirty six, maybe late forty. Like my dad would be vintage. My dad's in his like late fifties, early sixties. Um, but like, I feel like that would be vintage. What are you talking like vintage? What like you talking like seven sixties, seventies? Nikolai Jokic. I'm just curious. Like, what is? Because it's huge. You know, like vintage breaks. That's all they break is vintage stuff. They crack rated packs and stuff. I watch guys at the National, the Marcus Cousins for the Lakers, born as a member of the Golden State Warriors. 80s, 90s. I don't know if I consider that. Maybe I'm just getting that old that I don't consider that vintage. But, like, dude, it was crazy. At the National, uh, My I was walking around with someone. Keldon Johnson for the San Antonio Spurs going out to Todd Shaw. There you go, Todd. Um, and we were talking to like, I forget, it was like, I was looking at some different options that we could break, some like historic pieces, things like that. And they were selling some vintage packs and the guy just like bought a vintage, I forget what it was. It was like $140 opening up, not in it. I mean, you pay that for football cards and stuff now. I don't know what he was looking for even honestly, but it's crazy. People are still ripping packs from the seventies, the eighties. Mag this? The Keldon Johnson, you want me to out of 149? I will if you are you being <laughs> Are you serious? Are you being funny? No, I haven't, Kelly. And this is a Corey, I keep calling you Kelly because you're I don't know why. <laughs> you're not Kelly. Kelly's Kelly. You're Corey. Um but is there like one per case or are they super rare? Because this is, I had a half a case allocated to me. I bought a second case and uh, how about a McCollum out of 25? But we haven't pulled one yet at all. Now we still have, I think five, four, four or six boxes of this left. I think, I know, but you're not Kelly or Corey. <laughs> Rui, rookie. Oh, so then we have to pull one. Then I see I must have not got I only got a half allocated to me. So we wouldn't have gotten in that. John Morant, there we go. Another job. Um, so it's gotta be in this case. I'm not they come as a redemption. I'm not opening any and I haven't sold any boxes. So if it's in one per case, we should have it in this case somewhere. Game used material for the Lakers, Anthony Davis. I believe that was on a trade, right? Going out to Nicholas Brower. Established threads, two color there. And here we go. It's going to be a Carson Edwards. So the Boston Celtics out of 49. Good rookie there. Going out to Jason Upchurch. All right, guys, sorry if we didn't get you. Don't forget, though, you're entered into that drawing for the Glenn Rice Auto jersey and as well as the Court Kings Blaster 1819. But John Morant, Rui, with some, oh, there's a Threads card. Some nice stuff there. That Zion, a Jaw, a Zion uh, rated rookie. Donchick, LeBron Crunch Time and Craftsman. Uh, Donchick Marvels. Some cool stuff. Wendell Carter, Silver, Embiid, Michael Porter, Silver, Giannis, Hyped, Green, Zion, Luca, Green, Green, Kobe, Kobe, Green there. Man, not bad for the Lakers. Pascal. <laughs> Ball hit, what was it, the blue? What's that numbered out of? The Marcus Cousins, Established Thread. The Carson Edwards Auto. Anthony Davis, Established Threads. Keldon Johnson. John Morant Auto. 
Tremont Waters jersey, John Wall, Brandon Clark, and then that Rick Mayhorn Pistons auto. Paul's been busting his tail. He hasn't had a chance to wash breaks. All right, that yawn is my alarm to, to relax. What A is short and not long? And Paul's name? A is short and not long. Oh, Mathorn? <laughs> Good night. <laughs> That's what you're going to nail me with? I got all the names like. Tonight, for the most part, <laughs> you're going to hit me with the my horn. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Thanks for helping me find a movie. I'm going to watch El Camino. I'm going to rip it first, though. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Go Bills!